to the epicenter of the epicenter, Elmhurst Hospital, at the height of the pandemic, okay? What was happening in these hospitals was genocide. They were murdering people in the hospital to increase the death count. So what happened is the rest of the country followed New York's lead, Governor Cuomo, who belongs in prison for crimes against humanity. So what happened, listen, the perfect storm, this is how it happened. They removed all liability from these hospitals. They put financial incentive on COVID patients being admitted. Whether or not they had COVID, it didn't matter. $13,000 to admit. They banned all alternative treatments. The only thing they wanted us to use was ventilators, even though by the time I got there, they knew it was killing 100% of the patients put on a ventilator were killed. 100%. $39,000 financial incentive to put patients on a ventilator. What in God's name is going on? Why would we ever, ever put any financial incentive on a patient in a liability-free hospital. In the meantime, they're paying nurses and doctors extreme amounts of money, $10,000 a week we were making. Some of the doctors were making $50,000 a week. That's hush money. Hush Ooh. money. I am one of the only nurses in the world speaking out right now. I have had death threats. I have been fired. incentive to have a COVID death. It's disgusting. They banned family out of these, these hospitals. You had no family. You had no advocates. The, the only thing that you had was hopefully having a good nurse or a good doctor that cared about you, and it didn't happen. None of my colleagues are speaking out, even though we all knew what was going on. What I ended up doing when I, I was there maybe like Gosh, a, a week I contacted an attorney in New York and I said, listen, no one's going to believe this. No one's going to actually believe that there are people in our healthcare industry that are okay with disposing of human lives. I didn't sign up for this. This is not what we're taught. As a nurse and a doctor and anyone in, the, in our industry, we're mandatory reporters. We're mandatory reporters. That's what we're supposed to do. I was fired for doing what I was supposed to do. They, they will censor and blacklist and, and put death threats out for anybody that's speaking against the narrative. But you know what? Just as how we're going to learn it is to be brave and to do things that make you uncomfortable. I don't know why I never intended to be a public speaker. Awesome guys. because they know what I know. They know what they did was wrong and we need to be able to hold them accountable. Every
every single one of these governors, I would say politicians make lousy doctors, and that's true. There was no reason that any politician had to get in between the doctor-patient relationship that's sacred. And for any doctor or nurse speaking out, I hope one day will be re <laughs> redeemed, I guess, um, instead of you know made to look crazy for being able to just protect the people. Yeah. Florida's been open. Our governor, Ron DeSantis, did not ban. Yeah. We're lucky. Your governor needs to pay attention to our governor. Yeah. So she's from Florida. Here's the thing. <laughs> We're doing fine. We're living our lives. It's very different. And I always say people don't know what they don't know. Um, I, I talk to a lot of locals. I've been here for a couple days. It's my first time in Hawaii. And it's gorgeous. And it's so sad because the politicians here are so ugly in such a beautiful place. They're ugly. And they don't belong here. So we need to get rid of them for you. <laughs> you know? Vote them out. Start running for these positions. You know, we don't need tyrants here. We don't need to be surrounded by cops right now, which is insane. This doesn't happen in Florida, and we're fine. We're thriving, you know? And you guys can do that, too, and I'm going to fight for you. Um, I don't think Hawaii has the, enough attention. So we're going to get you some attention, and I'm going to keep on keeping on, okay? You guys need help, and we are here. <laughs> you can do it. You guys, each and every one of you can do this. If I can do it, you can do it. Yeah. So, God bless everybody here for coming. And I hope that, and you, you can reach out to me too if you want. I'm on Instagram, Erin underscore VSN. I wrote a book about this. Um, there's transcripts in my book of actual conversations that I recorded um, that really shows what really happened in New York. People didn't die of COVID, they died of gross negligence, medical malpractice, mismanagement, and a whole lot of corrupt, greedy politicians that don't care about the people, they care about the narrative, they care about control. And for a 99.9% .9 recovery rate for most people, you need to stay away from the non-FDA approved biological agent, okay? It's very dangerous. And if you don't wanna be an experiment, because they're not telling people this, you are the experiment, they're watching you. And for what they did in these hospitals to increase the death count, how much trust do you really have in the medical industry anymore? I have none, and I'm a part of it. I don't want to be a part of this anymore. I'm going to be a part of fixing it. Because Woo! That's what we, we need to restore ethics. Ethics. And everybody needs to hold their doctors and nurses that are respecting their medical wishes to lay off and find a new one. Fire them. Let them know that they're not doing their job. Yeah. What happened to upholding the oath? It didn't happen. Nobody's doing it. Finally, we're getting some more nurses and doctors speaking out, but there's not enough. And it's really sad because we are failing. We are, the whole industry is failing the people. And if you have lost trust and even going to the doctor, where are we right now? What are we doing to the people? These local people um, that I was speaking to, they can't even pay for their bills. It's horrible. It's very, very horrible. Like, it's, there's, we had a waitress and she's working three jobs, you know, just opening up. And she's like, I don't know. She's a single mom. She's like, I don't know if I can afford my house. What is going on? You guys are locked down based on what? Nothing. 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 Honestly. Money. Control. Stop letting them control you. Okay? Stop letting them control you. Stop letting them steal your lives that you have worked so hard for. And stop letting them steal your children's childhoods. It is destroying our future 
generations. And you know what? Every single one of you can work to make sure that they have a future that's free. Yeah. That those, um, how many veterans are out here? Yeah. There's a lot. That, the veterans that fought for you to have the freedom to be able to live freely and, and secure your future for your children. You know, that's why we did it. And you know what, what a slap in the face, you know, to, to have people that have died and lost their lives and they're just stealing it from all, you know, right under us and we can't let that happen. So thank you so much Hawaii for having me and thank you for staying in the rain. If you have any questions, I'm gonna be around, but don't be in, don't live in fear anymore. Fight back, stand up, start running for these offices and kick these tyrants out. Please, please give her a loving aloha applause.